Catout has decided to set up their packaging subscriber as a serverless containerized app on Cloud Run. Keep watching to find out how. In the last episode, we learned about the different options and authentication methods that Cloud PubSub supports for push message delivery. We also set up Cloud Functions as the push subscriber endpoint. Today, let's set up Catout's packaging subscriber application on serverless platform Cloud Run. But before we do that, Cloud Run and Cloud Functions are both serverless. So when should you use one over the other? Well, Cloud Functions are great for event-driven applications. You deploy code as functions and call them via HTTP requests or set it to trigger based on a background event. But it is possible that for some services, you need more control over the execution environment and the language, or you're already running the service in a container. In such cases, you would want to set up the service on Cloud Run, which enables you to package code in a stateless container, then invoke it via HTTP requests. So today, let's help Catout set up packaging service as a push subscriber endpoint on Cloud Run. To get set up, log into the Google Cloud Console, select your project, and open Cloud Shell. If you've not already played with Python doc samples, then clone the app repository using git clone. Then cd into the folder we just downloaded and go to the run and then PubSub. Then launch the editor so we can see the code for our application. In the explorer on the left, find the folder for Python samples and go to run and PubSub. Let's see what's going on here. Main.py has the server setup that handles incoming request. Then there's the handler that processes the PubSub message and logs a greeting hello world. And it's also returning a 204 response code. Remember from the last episode, the subscriber needs to respond back with success codes such as 200, 204, etc. because it acts as an acknowledgement for the complete processing of the message. And if we return HTTP error codes such as 400 or 500, that indicates that the message will be retried. And of course, the Docker file that defines the operating environment for the service. The contents of the Docker file will obviously vary by the language of your choice. Now, in order to push this code to Cloud Run, we need to build a container push it to container registry, and then deploy it. So let's head on over to our cloud shell, and we will use gcloud build submit with tag gcr.io slash project name slash service name. We will see a success with the source and the image address. Now we are ready to deploy. And for that, we execute the command gcloud run deploy. The name of the service, which in this case is packaging service, and provide the image address, which is gcr.io slash project ID slash container name. For this example, I'm choosing cloud run fully managed option, but you can select Anthos too. Select the region, I picked US Central here. We have to say no to the allow authenticator prompt because we only want PubSub to access the packaging service. Once it is deployed, we have the service URL. When we click on it, it leads us to forbidden. This is expected since we said no to the unauthenticated prompt. At this point, we have the packaging service. Now, how do we integrate this service with PubSub so our order topic can send messages to the packaging subscriber? Well, let's see. We go to IAM and enable PubSub to create authentication tokens in our project. We locate the Cloud PubSub service account and add a role service account token creator to it. Then we create the service account to represent the PubSub subscription identity. For that, we go to service accounts in IAM and create a new service account. Now we will give the invoker service the account permissions it needs to invoke our packaging service. For this, we use gcloud run service add IAM policy binding, the name of our service, which we called packaging service, the member, which is our service account, and the role is invoker. Now we create the PubSub subscription for our packaging service with this service account. We execute the command gcloud PubSub subscriptions create, provide the name of the subscription, topic that we want to be associated with. In our case, it's order topic. The push endpoint needs to be our Cloud Run service URL. And the push auth service account flag activates the PubSub push functionality for authentication and authorization. We go to PubSub and see that our subscription is created. With that, Catout's packaging service is fully integrated with PubSub. 
and we are ready to send a message from order publisher to our packaging subscriber. And to verify that our Cloud Run packaging subscriber received it, we go to the logs in Stack Driver and filter on Cloud Run. And we see that the message is received. So there you have it. We just set up an integration between Cloud Pubsub and Cloud Run. All right, so today we helped CatOut deploy a push subscriber on Cloud Run and receive messages from the order service using Cloud Pubsub. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will help cat out replay and purge messages. Until then, give us a like, subscribe, and let us know what you want to learn about Cloud Pubsub.